All right, class, let's do chapter 13. We're going to only going to do two topics in chapter 13, which is target costing, and uh, they call it strategic pricing, which is, is pricing. Um, just kind of a little um, neat little idea there, and, and we, we'll show you how to do this. All right, we have, uh, throughout the course, we have two different um, uh, income statement formats. We have the variable costing or the contribution margin format, which is sales uh, and variable cost and contribution margin and fixed cost. So this breaks everything down into the, the variable cost and the fixed cost. All right, now the traditional uh, income statement or the full costing income statement breaks everything down into product cost, which is cost of goods sold, and period cost. Uh, which would be selling an administrative or general and administrative or operating cost. This is the cost to run our, our business. These are all expenses. And cost of goods sold is all the materials and labor and overhead that come in through our products. And now uh, they're expenses. So that now they show up in the income statement. So let's do a little example on um, uh, the idea of target costing. Let's say we have this example. We have sales of $60.00 and cost of goods sold of $42 and um, so our contribution margin then would be 18 our selling and administrative expenses are 12 and our profit then would be 6 and um, it doesn't really matter the number we're selling let's say we're selling a thousand or whatever so we'll just do it as a per unit so let's say that we have where our price goes down and that's that's what we're going to look at let's say our price goes down to um, say fifty five dollars okay if everything stays the same we're going to only make one dollar okay but here's what we want to do and, and here's uh, I think this formats the easiest way rather than trying to know a algebraic formula or whatever so we're saying look our sales are going to uh, sales price is going to drop because of you know pricing issues uh, competition or whatever our sales price will drop to 55 and so um, we want to maintain the same profit so let's say our profit we want to maintain is the six dollars we also could do it as a percentage right we could say well we have a 10 percent profit this six out of uh, 60 is a 10 percent profit margin we could say hey we want this to be 10 percent which would be five dollars and fifty cents but let's say we want to maintain the six dollar uh, profit well we're going to assume unless we're told otherwise that our selling and administrative expenses our cost of running the company and sales and all that uh, is going to be the same so that means we need this contribution margin to be 18 and then we can back in to figure out well what is our cost of goods sold what does our product cost need to be well if we take 55 minus the 18 then we got to work our cost down to $37. So, so the target costing is the idea. Hey, we just can't just make a product and um, figure out its cost and then just sell it, tack on a profit and sell it, right? We have to say, okay, we think we can sell it for 55. So, therefore, we've got to make sure we get a profit, and um, so our, we got to sell it. We got to create it for like $37. It would be our target cost. So this idea right here is the target cost. Okay, and everything's kind of a variation of uh, of that. So that's really what it, what it talks about. Not too difficult. There's a reason why it's kind of at the end of of the book in chapter 13. Now let's do a similar type of thing in terms of pricing. Uh, let me grab this information and switch over to the pricing tab alright now uh, what happens on pricing um, it can be kinda confusing unless you just say hey we're gonna um, try to simplify it and make sure you're, you write it all out and everything so let's do it this way and uh, in fact I wanna use the uh, cost of goods sold and the gross profit. This should be gross profit. In fact, I don't know if I changed this. This should be gross profit here. Gross profit. 
you probably saw that. I just um, the spreadsheet will be updated, of course, now. So, so this is uh, gross profit. All right, so here's here's what happens. Let's just look at these um, these two um, sales and cost of goods sold and gross profit. And let me go with simple numbers here. Let's say it's 50, and let's say this is 30, and this is 20. Okay. Now, um, what if what if we really know our cost and and how we get our profit? is is two ways we can think of it two ways so we can say um, if I take the 20 and I'm gonna write this out 20 divided by the 50 20 divided by 50 well that's a 40 percent right so I'm gonna do them do the math here 20 divided by 50 and that's 40 percent and that is we can call this profit or we use a term markup on sales price okay so you, here, here's the um, the way to think about it the word profit or markup is kind of used interchangeably here and so it can be kind of confusing but there's two different ways to look at profit. You can say, hey, it's based on our sales price. So they say, well, what kind of profit margin do you have? What kind of markup do you have? And they might say, well, I, I have a sell at 50 and I make a profit of 20. And so therefore there's a 40% markup. 20 divided by 50 is, is 40%. But there's another way to look at it. You might say, um, well, I buy things at 30 or I create things at 30. So you could easily say, well, 20 divided by 30 which is the cost and you might say hey this is you know 20 divided by 30 this is a 66 percent profit or markup on cost both are equally valid and this is the same problem it's just taking the profit divided by the the cost so now what happens is if we if we have a problem like this then then typically what happens is you say hey um, let's say your cost is forty dollars your cost is forty dollars and you want a let's say a fifty percent a fifty percent profit on cost then how do we do this well this profit needs to be fifty percent of the forty dollars right so you can say take the forty dollars uh, times the fifty percent and get 20 and tack that on and the sales price would be 40 plus the 20 right or if you think about it our our um, you can do the math in, and and uh, our sales price would be a hundred and fifty percent of what our cost would be okay so that if you say hey I want to mark up um, a profit on cost also this could be called a markup on cost okay this is the same thing, 50% profit on cost or markup on cost. Okay. The other way to do it, you might say, you might say, hey, let's say we want a... Um, Let's do a 50% uh, profit on sales, which would be the same thing as saying a 50% uh, markup on sales. Okay. But let's say you know what the cost is. 
Now, it'd be easy if you know what your sales are. If your sales are 100, then your cost would be 50 and your profit would be 50, right? But if you're, um, let's say you know this is $25, right? Well, then what you need to do to get the uh, sales here is take the 25 divided by 0.5. And you'll get fifty dollars. Move it right here. And so then fifty minus twenty-five equals twenty-five dollars. Alright, so here you have a fifty dollar selling price, a cost of goods sold of twenty-five, and a gross profit of twenty-five. So we have a fifty percent markup on sales. Uh, and a uh, 50% profit on sales, however you want to say that. So that's how you do uh, markup or profit. Sometimes you'll see the word markup, just substitute the word profit, and it's always divided by the sales price or divided by the original cost. All right, thank you.